What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how I make my papaya salad. In Thai, they call this som tam, in Lao they call this tamak hung, and in Cambodian they call it bok la hong. Alright, let's get started. First, you're gonna need a papaya peeler. Second, you're gonna need a papaya shredder. Now, if you don't have a shredder, you can use any kind of knife. You have to be very, very careful. It does take practice. Let's get started by peeling our papaya skin. Once it's finished, it should look beautiful like that. Voila! What I like to do next is cut the tip of it. This way, I can have beautiful strands of papaya, but of course, this part is optional. The shredder would give you even strands just like this. If not, you can just chop, chop, chop away and then slice it just like that. You'll have beautiful strands and textures of papaya. It does take practice. You don't want to chop your fingers, so take your time. Chop, chop, chop away. You're going to need four cups of shredded papaya for this recipe. Next, in a pestle and mortar, add one half a teaspoon of crab paste, a fourth a teaspoon of shrimp paste, and one garlic, and your desired amount of Thai chili peppers. Smash all your ingredients against the tip of the spoon. Trust me, you don't want peppers in your eyes. Next, you're going to need two cubes of palm sugar. If you don't have palm sugar, regular sugar is fine. Smash those bad boys in really well. It should look something like this when it's done. Next, add one cup of sliced tomato. Smash everything in together until you get a paste like. Next, you're going to need one teaspoon of monosodium glutamate. If you don't use this in your cooking, go ahead and skip this step. Next, two tablespoons of sugar. If you don't like yours too sweet, use less. Next, four cups of papaya. Go ahead and put in two cups first. Continue smashing everything in. Here, let me give you guys a closer look. It should look like that. Wow. Once the papaya is evenly coated, go ahead and add the remaining two cups. Repeating the same step, you're gonna continue to smash it until it's evenly coated. Once that's done, go ahead and add two tablespoons of lime, two tablespoons of tamarind concentrate, one third of a cup of fish sauce. If you don't like yours too salty, use less. Now for the most important part, badek. Today I'm using Lum's Kitchen Papaya Salad Badek Sauce. You can use whatever brand you want. Badek is optional for this recipe. In Thai, they call this Blara. Today I will be using 3 tablespoons. You can use more if you want. The more the better. This badek sauce is so good, all the way from San Diego. Once again, smash in all your ingredients. In Lao, we say tam tam tam. So we're pretty much done. Now I added Asian eggplants to mine, some long beans, and some lime peels. You don't have to do this, but people put crazy stuff in their papaya and it always tastes amazing. I add this to give it more textures and pop of colors. And of course, this is gonna add so much extra crunch. Once again, smash everything in so this way the papaya juice can soak into the new ingredients that I add. I also like to add salted crab to mine. Continue smashing and blending everything in. Look at how juicy that is, guys. Here we go. Let's plate it. Wow, that is so, so juicy. Papaya salad is great for appetizers and make great snacks. Perfect for birthdays or any special occasion. Look at how juicy and how beautiful that looks. I wish you guys can have some. All right, guys, let's eat. Mm -mm -mm. All right, get some papaya. Mm. Make it extra juicy. Mm.
Mmm. Mmm.